Enis and Amir Karavil are brothers who've opened up an artistic hub here in Istanbul. The pair run their business out of a space where you can have a coffee and breakfast in the morning. And once you're finished, you can pick up a one-of-a-kind fashion item or maybe browse some of the exquisite pieces of interior design on display. Take a look. Well, joining me now is the creative director and founder of Sanayi 313, Enis Karavil. So, Enis, tell us how you guys came up with the idea of putting all these elements together in creating Sanayi 313. Basically, we wanted to uh, create a world that explains uh, what we do, what we like, what we eat. Uh, so, the main idea was uh, to, um, how do I say, uh, to make our visitors have an experience, uh, touch the stuff, taste them, smell it, try it. So uh, to be able to do this, we needed different disciplines to explain ourselves. Uh, so uh, architecture was one of them. I'm an interior architect. I used to live in London. And when I moved back from London, uh, I had difficulty to explain my vision. Mm. So me and my partner, at the same time, my brother, co uh, and, uh, his uh, co-founder Sanai, of Sanai 313 as well, uh, we decided to create a world mm -hmm. uh, and invite people into this world to get to know us closer uh, and have different experiences such as art, such as food, such as fashion, such as architecture. And you guys chose to open up your first branch in a predominantly industrialized place in Istanbul. Why did you guys do that? Because as a team we believe in the uh, power of contrast. We reflect this with our food, we reflect this our, with our architecture, we reflect this with our uh, shoes and accessories items. So I think uh, we want to do something different. You know what I mean? And then we didn't want to do it in the center of the city. Uh, so as an architect, the architecture of Sanayi always uh, fascinated me. Mm. Uh, and I thought I could create a completely different world because of the architecture, because of the ceiling heights. Uh, and I don't know, I just felt that we had something in common with the area of Sanayi. And Sanayi has opened up a blog that focuses on culture and lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about it and can we expect more publications? To be honest, we don't even have a, a sign at the door. So mm. I think the blog is the only place that we can reflect what we have in mind, in our mind, and why are we doing this? The editor of the blog, uh, Sydney, uh, I think she's doing a very successful job because uh, when we do something, she follows us, and then uh, she combines her editorial skills with our feelings, and this is how we reflect ourselves to the world. And I read on the blog that Sanayi Bebek, your mm -hmm. other branch, has um, done a collaboration with PG Art, art Gallery. Gallery. Tell us more about it. To be honest, Sanayi always in the art scene because uh, we did different collaborations for the Maslak part. Uh, for example, a uh, very famous artist, Sechkin Pirim, Nilüfer mm -hmm. Yildirim, uh, Seda Gazioğlu. We collaborated with them for different projects. And then when we were opening the new branch in Bebek, we thought we had, I liked to change a lot. Yeah. So I thought it was uh, going to be, um, how do I say, uh, it was going to be a little change on a little wall that would excite me every month. So uh, I knew Pril and I used to follow her a lot. So, and she brings up uh, unknown talents and she promotes them. So I thought it could be very exciting for us to go in a collaboration, someone is professional at what she does. Well, thank you for joining us on Showcase. Of course, thank you for having us.